Well, how y'all are? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range. Uh, with my next installment on... God. My next installment on... A, I got this old use gun, and the old use gun I got today for this round is this. I call this the FIE Firearms Import Export Group Last Ditch 22 caliber revolver. Uh, this gun doesn't even have model on number on it. My research indicated to me that this was probably the last manufactured gun that FIE produced at the end of its uh, at the end of its business. Uh, this one is a pull pin 22 caliber 8 shot revolver uh, and it's in 22 Winchester Magnum. Uh, I shot this gun a little bit ago just to find out whether or not it would blow up in my hand. Uh, it didn't. Uh, it actually shot pretty good. So we're going to give this gun a try, and then we're going to talk about its shortcomings. It's got a few shortcomings, I'm here to tell you. Uh, we're going to try it here at the 25-yard defensive range, which is probably pretty ambitious for this gun, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. Uh, try a couple on single action. Now this is in 22 Winchester Magnum, and it hit that chest center. Hit it again. Missed it. Let's try something a little bit smaller. Missed it. This would be the 12 inch thick steel plate. If you watch the videos. That was a little low. Oh, I hit it. Okay, we're good. I pulled it up a little higher. There we go. Yeah. Hit it right in the middle. Chimed it good. I think we're about out. Yeah. This gun has a few shortcomings. Uh, it is a pull pin design. That means you have to reach up here and push down on that button, pull that crane rod out of there, and then try and dump the cylinder out. Okay? It's pretty rudimentary, but it does seem to work. Here's one of the problems with it. Mostly when you have a pull pin gun like this, the crane rod, this guy, the axis pin, generally is what you use to punch out your spent cartridges. Guess what? <laughs> it doesn't fit in there. You know? chamber problem. Like maybe the chamber's just a little too big and that allows the cartridges to swell and stick in there. So, you know, you better get it done in eight. <laughs> you know, that's all you can say. You better get it done in eight. Kind of sad, ain't it? So, basically, FIE was not at the pinnacle of its line when they come out with these. Uh, they're kind of a sad little gun, just to tell you the truth. Uh, shoot? Yeah, shoots a little bit. Uh, the fact that you just plain can't reload it would be a major problem with me. Uh, eight shots, defensive gun, close range, yeah. Eight shot defensive gun with a, a lot of power for a Rimfire. Uh, yeah, pretty good gun. Had to disassemble the gun and then get tools to get it unloaded? No, that'd be a straight zero right there. It's amazing to me what you find at the Kentucky State Police Gun Auction. Uh, this is a gun auction gun. Uh, it's on loan to us from Apache Armaments over in Lebanon. Uh, it has some pretty strong points. One of them is 
it's eight shot and it shoots 22 magnums uh, the other thing is the bad point worst point of it is is it uh, it uh, and it doesn't have any safety device it doesn't have hammer rebound it has a floating firing pin and it's right up there against it all the time uh, you know so you'd have to get that guy loaded short with one and try and figure out how to get a <laughs> an empty chamber under the under the hammer um, had a few shortcomings if you know all of these and accept all of these then it's probably a pretty good gun for the boat car truck airplane survival kit something like that but uh, overall it's not the greatest gun in the world uh, it doesn't even have a model number on it uh, I can't find a model number on it don't know what to call it other than it's it's that old FIE gun that's kind of weird. Uh, value of this gun is somewhere around 50, 60 bucks, you know. Uh, it's not much of a gun. It is a gun, though. If you don't have anything else, it's a gun. Kind of hard to get the cylinder back in it. But uh, let's put it this way. It's better than a clerk. <laughs> It's <laughs> probably better off than an RG-10. Uh, you could do worse. You wouldn't have to try very hard either. Uh, pretty good old gun, though. Well, that's about the size of that for eight. I got this old used gun. Like, take, share, if I commentate and subscribe. Uh, Patreon link in the description, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. See y'all.